Welcome back to another episode of 2M2X. Today, we'll talk about a powerful tool called the Value Proposition Canvas. In episode seven, we covered the Business Model Canvas, and one of the nine sections on that tool was the Value Proposition, which is the core aspect of exactly what your customer is paying you to get done for them. The Value Prop Canvas is a deeper dive into that. It's a tool that documents and facilitates brainstorming around your customer's needs. This is what it looks like. You have the customer profile on the right with gains, pains, and customer jobs. And on the left, you have value propositions with the game creators, pain relievers, and product services. You always want to start with the right side. First, make a list of the various customer segments you serve. Then pick the most important one and start filling out the canvas. And yes, you will need one canvas for each unique customer segment. In a B2B environment, you may want to do a separate canvas for each role in the decision-making unit too, like CIO, CFO, and end user. Next, list out the pains that this particular customer segment has, and try not to limit yourself to just the pains that you currently solve. Go deep in terms of everything that affects your customer, because that is where creativity is unleashed. Then do the same thing for their hopes and dreams, AKA gains, what makes them happy? Then list the kind of jobs that they need to do to address these pains and gains. There's a lot of online training around this tool, so feel free to Google it. On the left, you want to map out how your product or service will help this customer segment get their jobs done. And within the other two sections, list the features your offering has that create the gains or relieve the pains we had previously documented. So how does this help? Well, every section is an opportunity to experiment. Are there new gains and pains you hadn't thought of? Are there ways to solve the existing pains and gains in a new way? Is there a niche segment that is a better fit for your offering? As you and your team answer these questions, make sure you're engaging internal experts and external specialists to help solicit ideas on how digital technology can be leveraged. Hope that helps you generate new value for your customers, and I will see you next week.